Hello YouTube, hello English speaking community of Dagger and Knives. Today we are at Russian Blade Show. It's a Russian knife show which is called Rus Blade Show. Uh, in Russian it's called Klinok, so basically that's my badge. So the Klinok is actually in English means blade. So let's have a quick look what we have here so that you have understanding how the Russian blade shows are organized. So that's the main entrance. Of course, we as Dagger are presented here. So it, it, later I will show you our stand as well. But let's start with the basically this type of knives. These are very traditional in Russian knife exhibitions that you can usually see a different type of axes, uh, different types of the fixed blade knives. Here, uh, it's a, well, how to say, it's a, let's say, uh, the modern interpretation of a World War uh, fixed blade knife. I think it's a little bit shorter than it was in, in reality, that uh, in World War II, a Russian military's had, so it's called Finca NKVD. Well, basically not all the militaries, but part of the military which was in, the, uh, in special forces, uh, let's say. So let's go later, uh, let's go here, so here you can see the, the blades, the fixed type blades, uh, it's a company a AIR, so A&R company, it's very famous for fixed blade knives in Russia, and as you can see, uh, usually a lot of Russian fixed blades have these traditional birch tree handles. And of course, nowadays there are also uh, modern materials like carbon fiber, like G10, are also used. But by these handles, you can always distinguish the Russian type of the uh, knives. So actually, mainly in Russian exhibitions, you would see like 70, 80 percent would be the knives, uh, fixed blade knives, and in uh, traditional. Uh, look uh, and majority of the fixed blade knives will be with the M390, S390, K340 steels because a lot of users are using this type of knives for hunting and fishing. Uh, I want to show you this very nice uh, knife, it's very traditional, uh, well not traditional, but it has a Russian motifs, but it's really beautiful, mm, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, so it's a Damascus blade, mosaic, uh, three uh, different uh, steels, so it's a tease of the sea lion. So this is also Damascus uh, steel, but with the nickelium and they are oxidizing it so it will be so polished. This type of knives is 120,000 rubles, which is roughly $1,800. Okay, here we have a, a very famous also Russian brand, South um, Cross, Yuzhny Krest. Uh, they do the fixed blade knives, mainly as you can see for hunky, uh, hunting and for camping. So that we can see it uh, pretty closely here. They use the micarta. At the micarta? Yeah, they use the micarta and usually they use N3, N690 steel, as far as I know. When I was showing you the Russian typical knives, uh, fixed blade knives, they are usually called uh, uh, they are not branded. Some of them are of course branded like South uh, Cross, but some of them are named by the name uh, the the person who is actually uh, producing it. I, I'm pretty sure it's the same in United States. As far as I remember from Blade Show, that was like this. But also we have brands and here is the Kislyar Supreme, one of the... You know, they have a pretty big market share. And I think they're also presented in United States. They sell, ma they made mainly 
tactical type of the blades. As you can see, a lot of people are actually here looking at their knives. Uh, let's try to look what they have. Hey, uh, let's have a look at these very interesting knives. These are basically, as you can see, combat knives. But in Russia, it's illegal to sell combat knives. And how they avoid this is that they are using the blade widths 2.4 millimeters. If it would be 2.5 or uh, or uh, wider, then it will be illegal to sell on public with the guard. And uh, so they have a look of the USMC, but they are a little bit slimmer. They are a little bit smaller in the handle, but they also have a plastic sheath. And the price, the price is actually pretty interesting. The price is only 3,000 rubles, which is actually, I don't know, 45 or 40 dollars. A какая сталь тут? Okay, well, the steel is very difficult to now to <laughs> say it's a Russian uh, steel. And of course, the steel is not really expensive here. It's, a, I would say, a just ordinary steel. Also, in uh, Russian knife shows, you will find this type of middle-age uh, 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 axes. These are basically something like a Scandinavic, Slavic axes. They're really nice. They're really neat. They... Um, and actually, they, you can use them. They are used. They are not only for the... Uh, just to put on the wall, but really you can use it. А сколько такой топор стоит? So this one is eight and a half, eight thousand five hundred rubles, which is uh, I don't know, one hundred twenty, one hundred thirty dollars, something like this. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Let's have a look how the dagger knives stand looks like. Come on, guys. So here we are, here, here is our dagger knife stand, as you can see, uh, that's our employees. Uh, people are, uh, of course, attacking us. Uh, we have everything here what is on our website. So we are showing here, we will be releasing, we are showing the Koshe Slim, that's our new OTF knife. And the sales will start on Monday, but online sales will start on uh, Wednesday so if you will be if you are waiting for the Koshe OTF Slim uh, then it's here I'm gonna show it to you so that's the Slim that's my knife so we are just showing this one and yeah these knives are going to be released on Wednesday on website so guys uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this our uh, small video to show you how the Russian uh, blade show, knife show looks like and hopefully you enjoyed it. Type in the comment which type of the knives you like the most, how you like our knife show. Of course, I was not able to show you the whole show because it's really, really big and probably I've showed you like 10%, but that's what I could. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.